Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Pam and guess what? Today we are not cooking. We are absolutely not going to cook anything. It is 98 degrees outside and I am not turning on my stove. I'm not turning on my oven. I'm not firing up my grill. Not for you, not for me, not for anybody. We're just not doing it today. Ain't happening. So if you want a good hot meal today, you in the wrong place. But while you are here, I'm going to show you the art of making an old school lunch meat sandwich. Oh my goodness. We are back and before we get started making this amazingly delicious old school lunch meat sandwich, if you are returning to the channel, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. It's time to go over our ingredients. Oh my goodness. Okay, the ingredients will be down in the description so that you guys can make it in your kitchen too. But first things first, the bread. You don't need a bun, you don't need brioche, you don't need a hoagie roll, you don't need a sub roll, you need some sandwich bread, okay? White or wheat, take your choice, but you just need two slices of sandwich bread or however many sandwiches you're gonna make. You need some regular old bread because this is old school, this is old fashioned. We ain't going there for doing all that. Now, if you really wanna make sure it's old school, make sure you got the white bread, okay? But I'll leave white versus wheat up to you. Also for your sandwich, we need bologna. Bologna, bologna, whatever you wanna call it. You know, I already took the little red strips off, then I thought about it, so I should've kept the little red strips off. You know, take the little red strips off. You need some salami. Now, not the hard salami that you find in the deli section most of the time. This is cotta salami. This is the kind that has the little black specks all over it. Take a look at it. Can you see the little black specks in there? That's the kind of salami you want. Now, back to old fashioned, old school lunch meat sandwich, American cheese. You know, y'all, people used to get those big blocks. You know, we used to get the big blocks of cheese and slice it up. That's American cheese, no cheddar cheese, no provolone cheese, no Gouda cheese, none of the fancy cheese. You need some American cheese. Get the kind, you know the kind that come in a little plastic, gotta take it out the little wrapper. That's what you want. Lettuce, you need some regular old iceberg lettuce. We don't need the spinach and the fancy stuff and the butter and lettuce and the this. You need some iceberg lettuce because one, you need that crunch and number two, it's old school, okay? Now, you gotta have some tomato on that lunch meat sandwich. That's just golden right there, tomato. Now for my old school sandwich, I like to have some onion. So I have some red onions sliced really, really thin, and I gotta have some pickle on the side. Now typically I just have a spear of pickle on the side, but I was out of spear, so we're gonna have some slices. Dill pickles, people, dill pickles, not sweet pickles. You need dill pickle on the side, okay? You're also gonna need some mayo. You can use Miracle Whip if you want, but if you really want old fashioned, old school, you need some mayo. Now I'm using Hellman's mayo, cause guess what? I know a lot of you Duke fans out there want the Duke mayo, but Duke has a tinge of sweetness to it. This is old school, old fashioned lunch meat sandwich. Get you some Hellman's. You need some mustard, any kind, as long as just, just yellow mustard. No Dijon mustard and all the fancy mustard. Get you some old fashioned regular mustard, okay? Then you're gonna need a little salt and pepper. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get this old school, old fashioned lunch meat sandwich made so I can eat, okay? So I can eat, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our tomato sliced up. Now, typically you would have one of those large beefsteak tomatoes or a large uh, slicing tomato but this is what I had left, so we're gonna use it, okay? It's a regular old Roman tomato. Any regular red tomato will do. I like a lot of tomatoes, so I'm gonna be like four or five slices on there. Okay, we got our tomato cut. We're gonna go ahead and set our pickles aside because they are just going on the side. 
clean as you go, people, so you won't have to clean in the end. Get our plate up here now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to go in with some of our mayo. Now, your how much mayo you put on your sandwich is going to be up to you. I really don't like a lot of mayo on my sandwich, but I am going to put it on the top and the bottom layer. And that's enough mayo for me because this is my sandwich, guys. Yes, I'm going to be eating this sandwich. Go in with a little mustard. Now, your mustard, the key to the mustard is a drop. Just a drop of mustard. See how much mustard I put on there, guys? Not much at all. Then spread it around. That little bit of mustard is going to make all the difference in the flavor of this lunch meat sandwich. It's going to make all the difference. Okay, set that aside. Now we're going to go in with our lettuce. Now you notice the lettuce is curled up like that. You want to take your lettuce, flip it over, press it in some, and then put it on your sandwich. That's going to let it lay just a little bit flatter. And then we want to go in here with a slice of bologna, kind of sit it to the side, to the, to the side a little bit, then put your other piece of bologna to the other side. Then we want to go in with our cheese. American people, American. Put your cheese on like this. See how I laid that in there? Diamond shape with the points up at the top. Put one on one side. And yes, this is a big sandwich. Mm-hmm. Put the other on the other side. Then you want to go in with your salami. Same way. Same way. Okay, after that, you want to go in with some of your onion. If you want to use onion, everybody doesn't like onion, but if you're going to put it on, now is the time to get it on there. Now we're going to go in with just a few of our tomato slices. I think four will be just enough. Put those to the side. Clean my cutting board off again. Now you want to go in, because you have tomatoes on here, you want to go in with a little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper to your taste. But you need to season up those tomatoes. They need a little flavor in there. Just a little flavor in there. A little salt, a little pepper. Close that bad boy up. Look at that. Look at that. Now I'm going to slide this off this plate because you got to cut it in half, people. You just have to cut it in half. It wouldn't be right if you didn't. So go in at an angle just like this and cut your sandwich in half. On the diagonal, people, on the diagonal. Mm -mm. Look at that sandwich. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna bring you guys up close so you can take a look. Okay guys, we are all done. Doesn't this look amazing? Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it out. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And I'd also like to thank all of my channel, channel members for your loyal, faithful support. And I will see you all next time. The good Lord will it and the creek don't rise. Mm-mm. Delicious.